Tom, a, uh, a big game this weekend against uh, Colchester in the league after a uh, good win in the cup. All the uh, all the lads looking forward to it. Yeah, we've prepared well to be fair already this week. We've uh, spent a fair bit of time preparing our players really for the game ahead. But yeah, we came off the back of a nice win last week, and uh, I think moving forward we've got a decent little squad and uh, looking forward to it. I know you were extremely disappointed by last time out in the league. Um, quite a frustrating game overall. What, are the, um, what have you been doing in training to make sure that, that doesn't happen again? Well, we've got this year we've got a lot of different uh, problems in front of us in terms of more of the teams playing more direct. And uh, so we've been really, we've been working towards that and, and being able to deal with that. But it's part of the game. Let's be realistic, it's part of the game. So uh, it, hopefully some of these lads will go on and play professional and uh, have to deal with many different sides of the game, and uh, so that's part of the job. The um, the lads of, that I've been speaking to are all enjoying the season so far. Um, a lot of incentive this season as well. Looking at uh, looking at the first team because there is the likes of Ify Allen, Luke Gambin, Elliot Johnson in the first team. And I know Ross was speaking earlier, and he said that uh, there's obviously going to be an opportunity for those lads to break through not only into your team but into the teams higher up. Yeah, listen, we've got a, it's a good breeding ground and we've got some top, good players going into the first team and, and there are those spaces, there are those openings, but obviously they need to perform to a high level uh, week in, week out really. But uh, there's, it's becoming a more competitive environment certainly and uh, it's, they're certainly starting to grow into becoming young, young scholars, if not young professionals as well hopefully. And uh, yeah, they're definitely starting to fight for their positions, which is good, keep it healthy around the training ground and uh, go into Saturday's game looking positive. Looking at back at Saturday's game, were you, uh, were you impressed with what you saw, obviously picking up a 3-0 win? Yeah, yeah. We, it was a problem-solving week, really, and, and they obviously solved the problems. 0-0 at half-time, and I said to them, I said, you've got the tools to do it, but uh, actually finding them and, and finding the right way to go around, getting a, a positive result out of it. We've, we've outplayed teams, but not necessarily scored the goals. And uh, yeah, this week we managed to do that, and it counts for a lot. And then looking ahead to this weekend, it'll obviously be a very tough game facing Colchester at the top of the league, but uh, are you confident you can get a result? Listen, it's, uh, it's about development as well as, as partly training to win. Um, and Colchester are a good team, I know, I know some of their players, and they're a good team. They've got some bright young stars, four of which have just signed pro, pro deals. Um, so it's going to be a tough test for us, but I, I fully have confidence in all of our lads. Technically, we're in and around as we showed it last weekend and the weekends before, we're in around the top teams in the country. So uh, hopefully we'll, the players will group together and something positive will come from this Saturday.